everybody. Um, we're back again. We've been talking about direct objects and direct object pronouns. So just to quick review, the purpose of a direct object is to receive the action of the verb meaning. What's being eaten in this case? A taco is receiving that action. It's what's being eaten. So you can always kind of ask yourself that question. What's being eaten? What's being sold? What's being served? If you can answer it, you know you have a direct object. It receives the action. So yo como los tacos. There's a good sentence in Spanish. It's the same as this in English. Los tacos would be what are being eaten. So that would be the direct object. Ella vende las bebidas. Direct object. What's being sold. Nosotros servimos. Now notice that it's a stem changer. We talked about those recently. We don't stem change this one. Because as you know, we don't stem change inside the boot or outside the boot. So servimos nosotros is not stem changing here. It's an IR verb, so it's IMOS, and la leche is the direct object, receives the action. We use direct object pronouns or pronouns in general to replace the noun we're modifying or replacing. That's what pronouns do. Why do we do that? So we can have some variety in the way we use language. So I eat a taco, I'd say I eat it, and it's the same thing. There's no difference, except we use the word it to replace taco. It is a direct object pronoun, a D-O-P. So I eat it. What do I eat? The taco. So this is a direct object pronoun, receives the action right here. This is our subject. So um, super common. We do this all the time in English. We do it all the time in Spanish. Here's a good example of this sentence. Be yo como. Yo como, I eat. Now, there's two things that are different about direct object and direct object pronouns that we want to discuss right now. One is something you pretty much already know. We know that in Spanish we have to make things agree. So down here in the third person, singular and plural, we have four direct object pronouns. Lo, la, los, and las. Why do we have four? Tell me. That's right. We have four because we have to make everything agree in Spanish. So whatever we're replacing has to agree with this. Because it's los tacos, it's plural, and it's third person, but we would want to use los, because that's a agreeing with that. So this is masculine and plural, and so is tacos. So I'd say yo, como, and then I'm going to put los right here. And this is the second thing that's important to recognize where we put the direct object pronoun. This is different than English. So I'd say yo, los, como. So don't fall in the trap of thinking it says, um, I, them, eat. That sounds dumb, Mr. Snow. Well, yeah, it would sound dumb in English if that's the way you said it. Well, this is Spanish, and this is where it goes. So you can't think about it the other way. You have to think about it. This is the way it is, and that's it. Right? So be yo los como. Ella vende las bebidas. What do we replace las bebidas with? Las. And look where we put it. Right in front of the conjugated verb. Ella las vende. Nosotros servimos. What do we serve? La leche. So it would be la. Nosotras. Nosotras. La servimos. La takes the place of leche. It's feminine. Singular. And so we pick one of these. We'll talk about these ones later. All right, so that's something we, we constantly use in Spanish and English. We just give variety to our language and our communication. Here's some practice. So in these sentences, I want you to identify the direct object. Maybe circle it, underline it, and then rewrite it with the direct object pronoun. Just remember you put the direct object pronoun where? That's right, in front of the conjugated verb. So in front of that, after you finish watching these, watch the, um, the other links I put on the... Um, the school G agenda. Some of you might have seen those before with Mr. Wooly, uh, fun little guy. And uh, have fun with that. If you have any questions, just email me. And I um, hope you guys are doing really well. And we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.